Long time no hear from, I know. Before I get started, I would just like to say this. I would like to say thank you to all the uncommon men and women out there. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have survived these last couple years. Let alone have done the work that I've done. I've given my best through adversity. The reason why I had left this channel is not because I wanted to. Circumstances and financial, the financial situation that I have been in. And I want to address that here, you know, in regard to intercession and prayer, okay? But before I do that, I said I would come back if there was a break within the subscription. In other words, if we reached past 5,000 subscribers, if we broke 5,000 subscribers. And as you can see, that has taken place. It's never really been about subscribers. However, that's important, but it's really about community and always will be. I see the internet and anything that can be done here as a tool, a tool to be used for the real thing to take place. Cyber world is not the real world. It's a tool. And it's a valuable tool. But it's not the real thing. However, it's been substituted for the real thing. Here's an example. You take a photograph of a tree, or even film a tree. Now, the difference between taking a photograph and filming the tree, in contrast to being actually next to the tree and touching the tree, is not obviously the same thing. To be there present with the tree is to actually be there present with the tree, right? Everything else is a representation of it, but it's not the real thing. Boots on the ground is ultimately where, where we want to go as a community. The internet is an excellent tool, but it has its limitations. Ultimately, like I said, we want to have our boots on the ground. We want to be next to the tree. So what I've been doing and what I have done when I was in Christianity and the time that I was in ministry and so on and so forth, what I've done here online is an extension. I'm using this as a tool to bring things into the real world. I've been planning events, not workshops, not seminars, events for years, but they're grand events. We're talking about life-changing. Things that I can't really talk about because certain things, spiritually, because of the condition here, you have to be secretive about what you're doing until you're ready to do it. For those that know anything about spiritual warfare, understand with what I'm talking about. All right, so this is a very slow process for me, coming back to this channel. I have things in the works, okay? But I have to be able to give the time to it to do it. And I still have my Patreon page that will be found in the description. So if you want to become part of that, okay? For those who are intercessors, please lift me up in regard to my intellectual property. As an example, being able to, I'm trying to create opportunity to be able to put that within libraries so that it can be used for film and television and that type of thing. So I can bring revenue into this home. Much needed, much, much, much needed revenue. I need people's prayers. I need their intercession so that I can bring in revenue, so that I can build a team, so I can move things forward. I can't do any more than what I'm able to do, folks. So I need your help. We need each other. 
All right, folks, there it is. So if you would like to contact me privately, please do. You'll find that information within the description box along with the links to my website as well as the Patreon link. Um, if you would like just to let me know as far as what your stand is and where you're at in regard to your support and any ideas that you may have, perhaps you would like to contact me privately for that. But in the comment section, it would be helpful to me. Go ahead and leave your uh, viewpoint. So thank you, folks. Blessings to you. We'll talk soon.